thanks for joining us at podcastgo.com. Currently on view at the Provincetown Art Association Museum, Lillian Orlowski, the signature is in the work through November 25th at the Provincetown Art Association Museum in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Lillian's claim to fame in Provincetown is truly her her knowledge of abstract expressionism, especially through the works on paper. So we're thrilled to be able to have this show on view through November 25th. There is a companion exhibition to this at the Cape Cod Museum of Art in Dennis, which is featuring the oils um, as Provincetown is featuring the works on paper. Lillian Orlowski considered herself fortunate to have experienced the 1930s and 40s in New York as a poor young art student. She was involved with the Works Progress Administration, which supported artists financially to make their art and gave them public projects in order to display their work. Um, therefore, Lillian was one of those artists that was able to get some funding in order to continue making work. The other really great coup for her was being able to go to the Hans Hoffman School of Art in New York, where she studied under Hoffman for the majority of her career. She did come to Provincetown to actually study at Hoffman School here and ended up making her home in Provincetown while still retaining a studio in New York as well. One of the mysteries of Orlowski's history is why she abandoned painting on canvas and on board in favor of works on paper. She had done many abstract oils, um, but she almost abandoned oil and worked primarily on paper later in her life. It's also noteworthy to say that Hans Hoffman, for much of the time between his last years in Europe and in his early stay in the US, had also abandoned painting in favor of drawing. And as strong as her paintings may be, it's her drawings that best express Lillian as, as a person. Um, she had this, this really eclectic collection of dolls, these Guatemalan yarn dolls that she included in many of her still lifes dozens and dozens of times over her 60 year career. And she um, was able to do these simple line drawings that not only depicted the doll, but, but really um, instilled a full, fully abstract composition to an object that you knew was a doll. But once you look at her series of these dolls, it became a whole different element. Her drawings range from the Baroque to the radically abstract and simplified compositions, spare in the number of lines and forms, but also fill it fully realized as abstract compositions. She did primarily choose to do black and white if she decided to implement color. It was a very restricted palette. There might be two colors like orange and green or red and blue, but there was never really a full palette as, as is more obvious in her oil paintings. The personal works that she did based on the Ragdoll series um, are, are pictures that have rarely been seen. And so for us to be able to include those in this exhibition um, is really key um, to the entire show. She also was concerned with still life and figure using a very cubist and abstract style to represent through pencil and ink on paper. Lillian not only painted for years, but she was also a very significant teacher in Provincetown. She taught at the Museum at the Art Association, she taught at, Ca at Castle Hill, and she taught at the Fine Arts Work Center. So not only was she um, a student for much of her life, an artist, but she was also a teacher. And I've been fortunate to know her in the last five years of her life and listening to her stories and learning about living in Provincetown during the years of Hans Hoffman is the kind of story that they're the kind of stories that you would want to go back in time and experience. These are artists that all formed a camaraderie where they would paint all day long, maybe take a break and swim in the bay or go down to the pier and the fishermen would give him a fish for dinner because at this time a lot of them really didn't have any money and they were they weren't about selling their works. They were about making art to make art. Experiencing Lillian was, was something that was very unique in that she may have been nearly five feet tall, but she certainly had a personality and a drive that could have been equivalent to someone who's 10 feet tall. 